Hey guys, thankfully it's Jake Flea. Today in this video is a little chill, laid back, vape for life kind of video talking about a top five list of things that I've composed. Oh, composed, big word, Jake. A list of things that I want to see in zombies. And I cannot believe Treyarch has not added these yet, added these so far in this game. It's really kind of disturbing me in the direction of the future. If they're not doing it on this map, what makes them going to do it in the future map? So I hope that we're going to be seeing some of these things in future maps. And if you guys have your own list of things you want to see in zombies leave it down in the comment section below maybe i'll make a separate video talking about your guys's ideas as well but anyways leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video subscribe if you guys are new but anyways let's get into the list douche nozzles so fifth spot and this is kind of probably a me problem more than anything else and it's just like the little customizations that they did not do in zombies maps you saw in shadows of evil they had its own unique hud from the giant they're different but in the giant it had this hud and in Der Eisendraka had the same HUD. They didn't make a specific one where they didn't make a unique one for Der Eisendraka. And that really, I don't know, maybe it's just a me problem. Maybe you guys don't even care, but I kind of like this little idea of having each map being specific for a theme. So if we're on a castle map, they could have made a castle like HUD design, but they didn't do it. And they used the same one from the giant. And I don't know, it's just little things that they could have done as well as like the mystery box reskin. They could have made it medieval knight armor, just unique reskin of a box. We saw that from Shadows of Evil, it had tentacle porn all over it, but uh, in the giant, we had the plain old one, and then in this one, we got the same exact one. And it's just kind of a lazy factor, and I know I'm not calling Treyarch lazy, because, you know, they make wonderful maps. And I'm not saying I could do a better job, but I'm saying that just little things like that, it kind of ticks me off that they do not do little customizations like that, just to make their map the best experience possible. Fourth thing I want to see in future Zombies maps, not only the Ray Gun Mark III, the Ray Gun Mark II. I don't know why they did not bring the Ray Gun Mark II back. Was Jason Blundell, was he just like, yo, it's too overpowered. We can't do that. Like, come on, Jason. If you hate Jimmy so much, hate him. Don't hate the game, bro. Bring the Ray Gun Mark II and even give us a new Ray Gun for the next maps. Come on. It's already made. All you have to do is just put it in the game. The Ray Gun Mark II, why would you remove it? I don't understand at all. And I hope to see that in the future. <laughs> and then our number three spot is New Person on each map. I don't know why they would think it's a good idea. I mean, it's a good idea to recycle old perks from previous games like Electric Cherry under Eisendraka, but they didn't even make a new perk. And you know, if they're not going to make a new perk for this, I doubt we're going to be seeing some new perks in the future. Like, I'm I'm pretty sure we will, but maybe for DLC 3, they won't even bother with DLC 2. I want to see new perks each map. And that kind of ticks me off. It's back to the lazy factor. And I know I can't, I don't, I'm not in a place to call Treyarch lazy, but it is a lazy factor of them not to even make a new perk. But I don't know, maybe that's just me, maybe you guys don't even care, but uh, and their number two spot goes to ways to get a free perk. Not having to buy, not having to spend multiple monies in Dr. Monty's Gumball Factory, not having to get a gobble gum to get a free perk, no. Actual tasks in map, in game, where you have to complete to get a free perk. I don't understand why they don't do this. They did this with almost every single map on Black Ops 2. You know, it's so overpowered to get a free perk from doing something no come on it just adds a replayability aspect they did it with almost every black ops 2 zombies map to get a free perk for example you just had to get 100 percent accuracy on a boss round and then you got a free perk that's not overpowered at all you had to knife those little bastards jumping all over you on die rise they need to add little things little tasks little side missions to get free perks in a zombies map without having to use a gobble gum someone on my twitter feed was like you know do you think it's pay to win you know you're not really versing anyone so it's not you're not really winning you can't really win with zombies but it's more like you're basically just giving them free money and uh you're basically using it up it's like gambling it's just really annoying and it's it's kind of like a selfish factor they need money so why would we put something in game when you can just buy something that will do the same thing it's hopefully that's not their mindset hopefully it's just like you know it's a time aspect i can't do this because you know our map's almost completed and i can't add this little side quest i hope that they do out of these little side quests in the future this is dlc one man they had to show what's gonna be coming in the future. They had to show what they can bring to the table. And they're not bringing much. They're bringing a beautiful map, but they're not bringing little aspects that make this map great. And that, the lazy factor, leads me to my number one spot, and that is no new weapons. 
What? No new weapons? No new weapons? What? No new weapons? Are you serious? Come on, they even teased an MP40 variant, whatever gun you want to debate on what this is. They even teased it in a poster for Dizajaka. What the hell? How did I just say that? They, they teased it in a poster for this map. And they even put it in the game. And they teased the Razorback in a trailer, and they didn't even put it in the game either. It's like, in Black Ops 2, every single map introduced a weapon that we couldn't play when the first game released, or the transit released. We got the PDW, or... Yeah, it was a PDW. We never got that in Zombies until Die Rise. And then in Mob of the Dead, they introduced the Tommy Gun and the Uzi. They introduced weapons that fit the playstyle of the map. And new weapons, just new gameplay aspects that they need to introduce in Zombies maps for Black Ops 3. They need to add new weapons. Everyone in the comment section li loves World War II weapons. They need to add this. They're sticking with the timeline of World War 1, World War 2. And they're not bringing any World War 2 weapons to the table. Like, are you serious? The only thing that the only thing that they showed that they made a new weapon was the like a special weapon specifically for zombies is the bootlegger in Shadows of Evil. That's the only new gun they really introduced. They didn't do, do anything else. I know this is DLC one, but they're show they're gotta bring things to the table that we're gonna see in the future. They'd even put new weapons inside their first map, the first map that could show us they're either gonna make it or break it. They're obviously gonna make it with gameplay and how beautiful the map is, but if they're not gonna add new weapons, this game is just gonna get so boring they're adding no replayability aspects whatsoever oh man we just got married we're in the honeymoon phase oh wait i realized you're freaking ugly and i don't want to play you anymore like that's all these maps are gonna do is we're gonna be playing the hell out of them at first and then we're gonna realize what the hell am i doing and these maps suck and that's pretty much all these maps are going to be if they're not going to add little gameplay aspects that change the gameplay up. New weapons, new perks, side quests to get new perks, challenges in game like they did with Origins. They need to do something to add replayability. They're not doing anything so far and I hope to see in the future, but if they don't, then this game's gonna die. And if we get Ghost 2, if we get a Ghost 2, any in Infinity Word gonna, game's gonna suck, but if we get a Ghost 2, it's over, man, it's over. If they're not gonna even do this, how do we know we're gonna get a full mod tool in Black Ops 3, or get custom zombie maps? We don't even know that. We're gonna get mod tools, so it doesn't really matter. No, they need to actually provide things in game that are gonna up the replayability aspects, rather than just looking into the future, hoping for mod tools. No, they need to bring things to the table once the map's released that will want us to keep on going back to that map but they're not doing anything but maybe that's just me hopefully you guys enjoyed leave your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below and leave what you guys want to see in the future for zombies leave a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe if you guys are new and i'll talk to you guys in the next one see you later douche nozzles bye